and talk about the hiring process at American Eagle. If you just clicked on this video, I do have another video on my channel about the interview process and my experience. So hiring and training. The hiring process honestly at American Eagle could be so much better. It was pretty difficult for me because you have to go online and fill out a lot of forms. They call them task and those have to be completed before your training day. So usually it's like about a week. That way you have the time to do all that and you have to file so many papers and information. I had to FaceTime my mom because I didn't know what the heck I was doing. Now, if you've recently been hired or hired where you've had to do something on like that, online like that, you might know more than me what you're doing. But the last time I got hired at the only other job I've had, we did it on paper. So it was a lot easier and the manager was right there. These you do at home on the computer. So yeah, it was a lot. Honestly, I don't remember how many things I signed, how many steps I had to go through, but it was a while. So it's not something you can just do in five minutes. It probably took me two to three hours just going through all the paper, reading everything, because you have to, because you have no idea what you're signing. <laughs> Please read it. Um, but then once you're done with that, they do schedule you for a training day. Usually at our store, it's Sundays, 8.30 to 2.30. And the first couple hours, the mall doesn't even open till 10. So you're there just checking out the product of the store. They go over like the back inventory room and where we get our headsets that we wear and the bathroom and the cleaning supplies and um, our damages and holds closet, the fitting rooms where the keys are and the registers, so the bags, receipts. Um, pretty much everything you need to know that's not like common sense because uh, like you can look and see on the jeans it says original straight slim like th the more in-depth stuff that only employees would know so then we did get about half an hour on the register which I'll tell you right now is not enough time uh, we did have a girl who works there for a while um, she was training us instead of the store manager because she had to go um, I don't know what she did, but we did have her training us and she was really nice. She just kind of took us through the steps, the very basic, basic steps of what to say, what to do in what order. Cause I have worked out a store before that did have a register, but it wasn't a computer register. Like it was obviously like a computer, but it wasn't a touch screen like pad. Ours are like this big, like a pretty good computer monitor size. And so you start off, um, she told us how to like clock in clock out because there's specific buttons on the home screen and then it's like POS is what it's called I don't know what that stands for other than piece of and so it's where you do like the transactions and you know you have to ask the customer what is your number for rewards and then if they don't have one, try to get them to apply because we get like, it gets counted how many like rewards each person gets and the store gets. And you know, you desensor and scan the items. And then she taught us how to price override, take like a certain percent off, um, do returns. Returns are probably the hardest thing because there are so many different ways you can do a return, like even price match or return some things, price match others. Um, need The one I hate is when you have to return something and then order it because you can't do it on the same transaction. You have to do two. So kind of stuff like that. Um, and honestly, you do not learn everything you need to know because they only allow you a short amount of time. Plus, we weren't working with real customers. It was kind of just all of us um, we were all on register just doing this all at the same time and we have six registers and there was eight of us so I was on one that was like doubled up and luckily he was so nice I love Eric shout out boo and um, I yeah I worked about three days until I fully understood <laughs> the register um, I think the best training is just exposure training, throwing you in and just knowing it. Luckily, there's always a manager or LOD and a lot of times there's another associate there. So Megan helped me out a lot and Mallory and Kristen 
And I mean, just anybody, because if you have questions, they know you're new, they know you don't fully know what to do yet. So luckily, everyone I work with is really nice about that. And I know some people who have been there for a while and still get confused sometimes when there's a difficult exchange or return. And every store is different. I don't know why we return some of the stuff we do because a lot of it has to go to damages. But anyway, um, there's always gonna be things that you need to learn even after you've been there for a while. So don't feel bad, especially like on your first day at like just being like, what the heck? Because on my first day of training, after register um, training, they kept a few people on register. A few people went to the fitting rooms. A few people were sales associates just selling. And then Eric and I were greeters. So I had no actual customer register training until my first day of work. So yikes, um, because I was just greeting people at the front of the store and talking to them to them the whole time, which I loved because I got paid for three hours to stand and talk to people. Except when they asked for help about a certain gene, I was like, <laughs> it's my first day, I don't know. So yeah, but I really, I mean training, it was pretty basic, but you learned some stuff. It just will take a while to learn and it's okay. That's what I was most nervous about is just not knowing anything and looking dumb. But luckily, especially if you get hired with a lot of people, y'all look dumb together. So there's that. <laughs>